Incredibly, Tesla's bot is about to be deployed in Tesla factories to actually start work. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the electric. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans. You're watching the electric Viking. Great to see you. This is really a bit of a shock, I think. I don't think analysts or experts believe the Tesla bot, the Tesla robot, would be deployed in factories for, well, at least a year. But it looks like we all got it wrong. I mean, the Tesla bot called Optimus apparently is ready for field tests at Tesla's factories. And how do we know this? Well, Tesla has posted job listings. Um, here's what they are. Tesla has more than 60 job listings for the development of its humanoid robot. It's not a robot like other companies. Other companies do have some pretty impressive robots, but those robots don't really think. Now, the point of the Tesla bot is that it can use two Tesla's dojo neural network to train its mind and be like a child learning. That child learns and grows and becomes like a human, like an adult, basically. And then the idea is it becomes almost super intelligent. Optimus. Now, one of the vacancies calls for a technical program manager for the Tesla bot team. The job description says that Tesla is ready to test Optimus in its factories. I mean, I did not expect this to happen so soon. Now, of course, the bot, there's a lot more they can do. There's a lot more work that's going to go into this bot to make it better, smarter, um, to be able to do more things. But at this point in time, Tesla is saying, you know what, we're at the point where we can actually functionally use them on the work floor. We can maybe start getting rid of some staff and replace them with our robot. The Tesla bot team is seeking an experienced technical program manager to drive the deployment of robots for trial applications. They will work daily with design engineering, infrastructure, manufacturing, and operations teams to identify and execute pilot applications of humanoid robots in various manufacturing environments. Work will cover multiple job sites and may require frequent travel. Strong technical skills will be utilized to identify and mitigate risks and react quickly to operational issues and evolving targets. That's an interesting word there to use at the end, right? Evolving targets. Anyway, it says it notes the job description for the technical program manager position is, it's listed right now. And this position clearly is, is saying, uh, we want to use these bots in factories and that will be your job to actually begin um, identifying roles in the factory where the Tesla bot can do that role. I'm going to guess over time, the whole point of saying evolving targets is to say that over time, these bots will, be, will improve and become better and more intelligent to the point where it will replace more and more staff with them. Now, Tesla already says that Tesla also has a job opening for a QA tester on the Tesla bot team. Based on the description, the position doesn't require travel or field tests like the technical program manager opening. However, it does require the tester to meticulously record test results through test logs, screenshots, and videos. And Tesla is also looking for some people to fill its Tesla bot teams. Different jobs, if you're interested, are open for anyone interested in developing the Tesla bot, including C++ software engineer, electrical test engineer, engineering technician and yeah there's 60 jobs so there's plenty of jobs there if this is your you know field of expertise now i'm kind of excited to see if tesla provide um, some video progress reports of the bot in you know in the factory doing jobs and actually working i think that'd be kind of interesting now some people are saying that bmw are using figure robots and mercedes-benz are using apollos robots and that um you know they're actually further advanced than Tesla's bot. Now that may be true, but I don't think people kind of understand the point here of what I said at the start of the video, which is making a robot to work is one thing, but making it to become intelligent where it can learn and grow, that's entirely different. The whole idea here is that one bot learns something and when that one bot learns it, it actually instantly teaches the rest of the robots in the entire organization. Uh, so you can imagine as each bot learns something, it's uploaded to a neural net that neural net becomes more detailed, more contrast, more, more sophisticated. And that, over time, these robots just become more and more intelligent. That's kind of the scary thing here. How long is it before they replace, well, me? Thanks for watching.